You guys got one of these lying around your room somewhere? Because this is the difference between you having a webcam that looks like this and having one that looks like this. Let me show you how. How's it going guys? Hope you all having a fantastic day. My name is Dsynchro and this is the Elgato HD 60S Plus. You've probably seen them being used around with a bunch of streamers or even gamers on YouTube and whatnot as a great way of recording your gameplay, uh, whether that's on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and whatnot. But these little guys actually serve a much, much bigger purpose in the fact that you can actually connect them to your camera so you can use it as a webcam. You probably asked yourself, like, how does that streamer use his photography camera as a webcam for their streams or for their YouTube videos and whatnot? And the thing is, one, they could be using a cam link, but two, they could also be using one of these guys. They actually have a bigger purpose. I was actually using this one in particular to actually connect my webcam before I got an internal one. And they're incredibly easy to set up as well. That's what I'm here for. On the screen right now, I've got a very, very basic diagram, basically showing you guys exactly what to do. It is super, super basic. All you're really doing is connecting the HDMI port of your camera to the HDMI port on your Elgato HD 60S Plus, and then connecting the USB cord that comes with the product itself to your computer. Now, you may be asking, why is it that it has two ports, one that says in and one that says out? The reason for that is, because it's a capture card, you can actually make it so it would still display whatever you're, watch whatever you're playing on your TV of preference. But because we're actually making it so we're just getting the feedback from the camera and putting it on your computer, we really don't need to worry about the other one at all. It'll still work absolutely perfect. So mine will look a little bit different from yours, but essentially, this is basically how it is. I have a mini HDMI to a HDMI cable, the mini HDMI connecting to my camera, and going to the HDMI port that says in on my capture card. I actually have an internal capture card as opposed to the external capture card, but they roughly do the exact same thing. And one of the really good things about this as well is that Elgato also includes its own USB cord so you can connect your external capture card to your computer as well. So it's just as good as an internal one. The reason for me having an internal one is the fact that my one records 4K, so I'm basically future-proofing. As to how you connect the cameras and whatnot, depending on which camera you use, you may actually have to reconfigure your camera for the usage that you're looking for. My one was relatively simple since I use a Sony, uh, and I've been experienced with Sony's for a while, but it may differ from camera to camera, so the best way for you to go about it is to just basically look up a tutorial on Google or YouTube on how to configure your camera for the thing that you're looking for. Now, I'm aware that I wrote cam link on the search there. However, these guys work just as great as a cam link, if not better. And also, it doubles as something that you can record the gameplay from your consoles as well. And they're compatible with multiple, multiple cameras. Now that I have about how to connect it to your computer hardware-wise, let me teach you guys how to get the output software-wise and whatnot, and how to get it onto your stream as well. It's very, very simple. Let's go. So we're here in Elgato's official website. This is where you're going to be downloading the software that connects your capture card to your computer. I will put the link to the, uh, to the site on the description to make it easy for everyone. So once you're in the site, you're going to be prompted to two things. One is selecting your system. I imagine most of you guys are on Windows, so just select Windows. If you're using Mac, obviously select Mac. Then you come select your product, and this is where I actually have to let you guys know something. You have to be very specific which one you download, right? So if you have the HD 60S Plus, that's the one you gotta download. It will not work if you get any of the other ones. Same, if you have a HD 60S, it will not work with the S Plus software. They're all different programs. So I currently have uh, the 4K capture utility on my computer as well as the HD 60S Plus because I own them both. But let me show you how to configure them. So this here is the 4K capture utility, as you can see on the top left over there. If you connected everything correctly, you normally don't have to touch anything here. It'll just start up the moment that you boot up your camera and everything. Uh, but also, if you really want to go the extra mile and use the software, you can actually use it to actually record your gameplay if you're playing on a console, uh, as well as getting live feedback of what you're seeing on that console with the software itself. But also, you can actually change a few of the preferences and change a little bit of the configurations of your camera as well. You can increase the saturation of the camera. You can also change the hue if you'd like. So you, this is basically your little hub to actually make the camera not look horrible. 
Uh, I personally, I use ND filters on OBS to actually do that for myself, but to each their own. You can choose whether you want to configure this and it's going to affect that everywhere you use it, or you can do it on OBS and it's only going to affect OBS. Uh, depending on what your usage for the capture card is, this may be handy for you. For some, it may be not. It's completely useless to me, but I can understand that some people would have other benefits from using it. Let's hop on OBS so we can actually teach you how to configure this bad boy. So guys, we're now on a completely empty instance of OBS, and I will show you two ways of actually getting your camera sorted out. One is as if you were upgrading your old webcam to your new one, and without having to change a lot of things. And the second one is that you're completely adding the new webcam to your uh, to your OBS as if you didn't have a camera before and you went straight into it. So for upgrading, let's suppose you already have a webcam in place. All you gotta do is go to your sources, where that webcam is, double click it. <clears throat> and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the device from your current device to the one that is connected to your camera. So if you got the HD 60s Plus, it most likely will be the Elgato Game Capture HD. I use the 4K 60 Pro, which is my internal one, so I just select that, and there you go. Completely changed, nothing has, you don't have to do anything else to it. If you want to apply some filters just to make the quality a little bit better, there you go. All done and sorted. You can also, if you want, increase the resolution of it. Like I mentioned, this one has compatibility with 4K, so I can literally change it to 4K and, well, I'll have to resize it if I use 4K because now I'm extra thick. But moving swiftly on, let's go to if you're adding a completely new one. You basically click the little plus down here on the sources, add video capture device, create a new one, click OK, and then you select the device, game capture or whichever one you have, and there you go. And this will actually do the, def the default device uh, resolution but you can actually change it to custom and select one that you prefer. Personally, I just say leave it as default and then resize it using OBS. But if you really wanna do, uh, if you really wanna use a specific resolution, let's go with 1920 <clears throat> and then you just resize it or you just right click, transform and fit the screen. And there you go, it's done. You have your, ca your camera basically being used as a webcam. A $7,000 webcam. <laughs> And that's all there is to it, my friends. Honestly, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're getting yourself a new camera or a new webcam and whatnot, I hope this video helped. Do let me know on the description if it did. Give me some feedback, because honestly, like I mentioned, I'm trying my hardest to actually improve on making tutorials. I'm not familiar with making them, so I'm trying my best to actually do them to the best of my ability. I hope I was able to help you guys today. If you guys didn't understand something and have any more questions, feel free to tune into our Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time, and I stream on YouTube on Saturdays at 4 p.m. on Shadow West and Standard Time. If you have any more questions, if you need any help with anything, I am more than happy to show you how to do it live on stream and help you guys throughout the whole thing. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching the video. Thank you so much for making the time to be here today. I really, really do appreciate it. And honestly, I'll catch you guys next time. Love you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It is completely free and you can always change your mind. You are absolutely poggers. <laughs>